love how I love how if you're doing a, any kind of recording or video or anything on an Android phone, and it decides it wants to do an update, it doesn't even care. It just interrupts what you're doing. In fact, I had already updated my phone, and it interrupted my recording to tell me that the update had been completed. So apparently it was running in the background. Anyway, so I've yet problems with the truck that I drive, so I just took everything out of it. I took the Olinko out of it. I took the Yaesu 2900 out of it. And also, I noticed, hey, microphone cable's cracked. So I found that uh, replacement microphone for this that the people say is actually easier to read and better and sounds the same. Um, made in Taiwan. Um, and uh, they said uh, it's just as good. So it was $12. So I ordered that. It'll be here tomorrow probably. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to leave this thing in the house. Um, I don't really have anywhere else to put it. So this one here, I need to do... Let me see if I can do an alignment on it. It's off frequency just a little bit. It might just be due to the age of it. It seems like it's temperature related. I've noticed this kind of problem with like cheap 10 meter export CB radios. Like President Lincoln's. Those kind of radios. Um, the temperature really affects them. So... This is kind of a neat radio. The face comes off of it. It came out before the 706 Mark II G. They actually uh, beat ICOM to the market with a radio that had a removable faceplate. It didn't have two meters though, but it, it does have a separate antenna port on the back over here for six meters. Um, I don't know what else it has. Hold on. Let's see. Let turn the flash on. It has a really weird accessory plug. It looks like Icom's antenna tuner plug. I don't think it's the same. You need a speaker, a relay. It's really nice they use these. So you don't need just some weird breakout accessory plug. So, a speaker. Uh, apparently CW key is this one here that's the relay this is the ALC and then you have HF and you have 50 megahertz I don't even know when the last time was I made a contact on 6 meters but sure as hell hasn't ever been on this radio anyway you can see inside the radio. Um, I had found it on offer up for eighty dollars, and it said CB radio, a Linko CB radio, and it had this cord and like there was like a cigarette lighter plug rigged up to it, and it didn't transmit on eleven meters, and I think that's why they wanted to get rid of it. Um, a lady was selling it who ran a consignment store. And anyway, I'm not sure if I even paid her eighty dollars for it. I think I got it for forty. Um, I, I think I looked at it and I was like, "I have no way to know if this thing works." And I think I got it for forty, but it definitely wasn't more than eighty dollars. And I've had it for a few years, and I've had it in the truck mostly. But when I very first got it, I, I used it in the house, and I was on uh, thirty-eight seventy AM. And then I was on uh, a 38, 39.13, 39.15, somewhere around there on AM. I was testing it out. And a guy named Bob, like W7 AM or something, came back to me. He said it sounded really good. If you're into AM, you probably know who Bob is. He's in Arizona. Anyway, uh, so apparently, 
Although it has no mic gain control on it whatsoever, apparently it sounds good on AM. Um, that's just what I've been told. So I did kind of test it and listen to it on another radio, and I did notice, yes, it does sound good on AM. There is no mic, um, mic gain control. Let's see, what else do I mention about this? It's, it's pretty simple. It doesn't really have, uh, it's kind of strange. So when you're in this setting here, the multifunction knob will step you through a band stack. And then the MF select will change that and then you can adjust the frequency and the steps or the memory and then when it's like that so it's it's pretty handy for basic stuff um but anyway i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't have a vehicle to put it in now so, I got two of these just sitting here. So, it is what it is.